Good evening. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Hello, hello. Teacher, hello. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Excellent. That's great. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? How are you doing? How was your day today? Excellent, teacher. Thank Excellent. you. Bye. How about you? Was, everything was nice. Thanks. Thanks for asking. Did you check the information that I sent you? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. So yes. By little, I'm going to be sending you information. I was putting it together in order to send it. So now you will have more often, you will have information, right? Okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay, let's begin. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Good evening, teacher. Today is uh, July the 20th. It's Tuesday, right? So we're going to be working on what's in a name. Where do you work and what's in a name? So let's begin. So we have number one, conversation. How's it going? Number two, mm -hmm. yes, no questions with the verb to be. Number three, reading what's in a name. And number four, conversation. Where do you work? Okay. Objectives to discuss where do you work. Okay, so last, last class, do you remember what we studied in our last class? You, I remember the, the different question, for example, what is your favorite color, what is your favorite pet? Okay, favorite color, favorite pet, that's right. Yes, we worked on that. Uh -huh. Okay, excellent. Use the his and her. Uh -huh. We worked on possessives, his, her, mm -hmm. that's right. We asked about famous people, right? Yeah. That's something that we did. Okay. Thanks. Tonight, I would like to look at this picture. Uh, what do you think the topic's going to be? Can you predict what we will talk about? Where do you work? <clears throat> what do you do? Where do you work? Mm -hmm. Correct. Where do you work and what we do? Okay. Yes, excellent. Okay. So the purpose is to discuss routines, okay? And one of the things that we're going to be discussing is this. Okay. We have four questions. Do you work? Why do people work? And what happens if we don't work? So let's begin uh, with the first question. Uh, Karen, would you like to ask someone the first question? Okay, okay, very good. Uh, number one, did you work? You can select one of the partners. I don't listen, teacher. Me too. Okay. I can listen. I yes. can listen, teacher. I think that there is someone with audio. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Um, uh, he's work in a supermarket or cafeteria. Uh -huh. Okay. He's a chef. Okay, maybe he's a chef, right? Mm -hmm. He's attend a, a 
person attended or attended person, I don't know. Uh -huh. He's uh, waiting on people. Uh -huh. He's waiting on people. He's wait waiting, He's on waiting on people. Waiting on people. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, let's see who has the mic. Um, number two. Uh -huh. Why do people work? Okay. People work because. Sorry, I'm. I have just uh, silenced everybody so that the one that had the microphone open doesn't interfere. Now you can open your microphone and tell. Please go ahead. Okay. Okay. Number two. Why do people work? Okay, opinions, why do people work? Because we need to pay the bill, for example. Yes, that's a very good answer. We need to pay bills, okay. What else? Is there any other reason? Okay, number one, we have to pay bills. Number two, we have to eat. <clears throat> Some people estimate that uh, if people didn't eat, we wouldn't work. Or probably uh, we would work from time to time because the thing is that we eat every day. That's why we have to work every day. But if, if we only buy clothes, but we don't have to buy food. We buy clothes probably once a year, okay? Or we buy other things, but not so often as food. So then probably uh, people work most uh, likely because they need to eat, all right? So they have to pay bills and they need to eat. What's another reason why they work? Uh, for the um, exit Personal? Personal success. Mm -hmm. Okay. Personal, personal sense of achievement. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yes. For personal sense of achievement. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I agree with you, definitely. Okay. But what happens if we don't work? Opinions? What happens if we don't work? Just imagine. Don't, don't eat. We don't eat, exactly. Uh, if we we don't, don't have money for the principal necessities. Necessities? Mm -hmm. Necessities, okay. Exactly. We don't work, there's no money. We don't have money, we don't eat. Or we don't pay for the bills. And we cannot afford uh, those pupusas. Those, okay, or those things that we like to eat, right? So mm -hmm, that's right. Okay, now, do you work from home? How many of you work from home? Me, teacher. You work from home? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah, it's very interesting. Working from home is... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Working from home is nice, it's interesting. Okay, yeah. To me, it's, it's very nice. Okay. Because I have time to spend with my children. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. They are talking at you, at, at your side, right? Uli. Yeah. Daddy, hey, daddy, daddy, please, daddy. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I can help help them with the, with the homeworks. Mm -hmm. With the with the quizzes, with the labs, with um, anything from yeah. school. Those are advantages. What other advantages do we have of working from home? Another advantage that we have is that we save a lot of money on food and also in gasoline. I don't know if gas uh, gasolina that now is really expensive. Or uh, in the bus, we save that money. Yeah, that is also true. Mm -hmm. 
we save money on gas and we save money on food because we don't have to be buying food out of the house. Mm -hmm. That's true, yes. Okay, that is a second advantage. What else? What's another advantage? What about your, your clothes? When you travel by bus, if the bus is old, okay, suddenly you tear your clothes. And you know, the wearing and tearing of traveling by bus is detrimental to our body and to our clothes, to our health. So that's an, another advantage of staying at home. Okay, what's another advantage of working from home? The I have a time, a more time for another activities. For other activities, yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Also, we are protected from the virus, right? Yes. We are protected from the virus. As long as we don't go out and we don't get in contact with other people, okay, we are protected from the virus. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Okay, excellent. Now let's continue. So uh, let's begin with the first dialogue. First dialogue is, uh, how is it going? Let's see. Uh, the purpose is to exchange greetings. Mei Ling, what we say, Mei Ling says, hey, Mike, how's it going? Fine, thanks, how are you? Pretty good, so are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry, are you and Vicky in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning, her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay, let's go. One way to invite, a simple way, let's go. Hey, let's play, let's eat, let's have a party. That's a way to invite. Okay, uh, I would like volunteers to read the conversation. Who would like to read? Who wants to be mainly? Me, teacher. Yes, please, you are mailing one story to be Mike. Me, teacher. Yes, please. Okay, excellent. Okay. You. Ming Li. Hey, Mike. How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Very good. So, are your class interested in this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Vicky in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the mo morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, um, on my way to the cafeteria now, are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay. Excellent, very good. Now, another volunteer? Who wants to be Mei Ling? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Me, teacher. Yes, I have, uh, I have two volunteers to be Ling. Who wants to be Mike? Okay. I, I hey. Have... hey, Mike, how is going? Hi, thanks. How are you? Pretty well. So are you class interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Mm -hmm. Chemistry? Are you and Vicky in the same class? No, we aren't. My class in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I am on my way to the cafeteria. No, are you free? Sure, let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, now, now, right? I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Mm -hmm. no. 
Are you free is one way to prepare someone for the invitation. Hey, are you free? And the person says, yes, I am. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Okay. So, uh, Jemmy Corpeño. Who is Jemmy Corpeño? Okay. She is a volunteer to be Meilin. Now, who wants to be Mike? Me, teacher. Okay. Yes, please go ahead. There aren't so many boys, so it's okay. <coughs> Let's begin. Hey. Hey, hey Mike. Who is going? Fine, same. How are you? Pretty good. So are you class interested in the semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Vicky in the same class? No, we are in my class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Excellent. Hey, very good. That's great. Fantastic. Okay, very good. Now uh, let's continue. We have uh, one more uh, pair. Who wants to be Mei-Lin? Okay. Olga, yes, you, you are mei -Lin. Now, who wants to be Mike? Me, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. Let's okay. Hey, Mike, who's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are your classes interesting in this sem semester? Semester? Mm -hmm. Semester. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Vicky in the same class? No, we aren't. My class in the morning. Her class in, is in her the... class is in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Listen. I am on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay. Excellent, thank you very much, very good. Okay. Now, my dear ones, okay, how do we say hello? How do we greet other people? The verb is to greet, okay? To greet. How do we greet other people? What do we say to greet others? Roberto, how do you greet your friends? Hi. Uh -huh. Hi, Brian. What's Hi. up? Uh -huh. Depending on the confidence, you can say, hey, what's up? What's cooking, Brian? Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have, what's up? Okay. Only what's up, we have to be careful. We use it only with close friends. Right? Say hello, or oh, nice to meet you. Yeah, hello is a little more formal than hi, but okay, like um, we, we tell our elder, let's say our elderly, our older people, good morning. We say good morning and they say hello, hi, or they say hi, we say good morning, Mr. Stevens. Hi, Peter, how are you, Brian? So they greet us like that. Now, okay, we have two dialogues, okay? Saying hello. Um, one is a little more formal and the other is a lot less formal, okay? So, uh, Roberto, would you like to be one of, would be A, and maybe somebody else would like to be B? E? Okay, teacher. That first dialogue? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's yeah. see. Okay. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine. Thanks. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Roberto. Um, I was hoping that you would be A and somebody else would be B. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me, teacher. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. It's all right. Nobody died, okay? <laughs> it's okay. 
Who wants to be B? Volunteer for B? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. So, uh, Roberto and uh, the other boy that said me. Okay. And then we're going to have the ladies. So, let's see. Roberto, begin. Okay. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine. Thanks. How are you? Hi, very well. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now we have two ladies for the second dialogue. The ones that said me. Mm. I heard the ladies. Me. Me. Okay. me, me, teacher. Okay, Morena, sorry. Okay. Who wants to be me? Um. Me, teacher. Okay, very good. Yes. All right. You may begin. Morena begins. Hey, Jenny. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Great. How, how about you? Not so bad. Not so bad. No, not so bad. Okay. Excellent. Now, Jennifer, you are A. And Morena is going to be B in the first conversation. Okay. Um, hello. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? I am very well. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, Roberto is going to be A in the second conversation. And uh, Eric Colocho is going to be B. No, no, it cannot be B. It has to be a lady. So maybe Karen can be B, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Let's begin. Hey, Jenny. Hi, how are you doing? Great. How about you? Not so bad. Very good. Now, one more pair for the second conversation. One volunteer. Let me see. Me teacher. Yes, please, go ahead. Me teacher. All right, excellent. You may begin. The first one is A, the second is B. Okay, begin. Okay, hello. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. All right, excellent, very good. Thank you very much. Now another pair for the second dialogue. Mayra Guadalupe. Uh, yes. A, yeah. And maybe Rolando Rigoberto is, no, cannot be the opposite. Rolando Rigoberto is A and Mayra Guadalupe is B for the second conversation. Please begin. Oh. Hey, Jenny. Hi, how are you doing? Great, how uh, about you? How about you? How about you? How about you? Great. No. Uh -huh. Not so bad. Not, Not so bad. Not so bad. Mm -hmm. Not so bad. Excellent. Very good. Now, these are the conversations saying hello. But there are many other ways of saying hello. Okay. Let's see. For example, we have hello, hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Thanks. I'm okay. Very well. I'm not so well. I'm feeling a little sick. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear it. What's the matter? What's wrong? I'm a bit tired. Oh, just relax for a while. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. How do you do? Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. Don't mention it. No problem. It's good to hear it. Ah, too. God bless you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. See you later. See you tomorrow. 
take care. You too. Have a nice day. It was nice to see you. You too. Thank you. Be good. Okay, now using this information, you can make different combinations to create other dialogues. Okay, like, hello. You can say, hello, hi. Uh, and you can say, how are you doing, right? Or how are you, okay? Because here you say, how are you today? Hello, hi, how are you today? And you say, I'm very well, how about you? I'm okay, right? Uh, it was nice talking to you. Oh, likewise, thanks, okay? Likewise would be like the same, right? Same here or likewise. You say same here. Okay, let's see. Uh, I would like you to pick up a piece of paper and a pencil, look at this information and write a short conversation, short dialogue similar to the examples here. Okay, you can even pick some of the things from here, okay? Uh, write the conversation and you will share it with the class, okay? I'm going to give you, for that, I'm going to give you, let me see, two minutes. I think two minutes should be enough, okay? Two minutes begin right now. It, what are we going to do? Select from here, make combinations to invent a dialogue similar to the examples, okay? And you have two minutes for that. Stephanie, do you know what you have to do? Yes, you know what you have to do. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, don't worry. You have you have two minutes, right, for the conversation. You have to write, write a conversation, and then you read it. Okay. Okay. Eh, lo de acá. Yes, use information. Mm -hmm. Using this information. Combine, make combinations, create a conversation, invent a conversation. Okay. You can see. No, you can say how are you and you can say goodbye. Okay. Yo solita. Yes, the conversation you're going to read it alone because only you have the, the information. The other person has different information. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? No. No, not yet. Okay. No. Por cierto, pueden tocar. No, teacher, no lo entiendo. Don't worry, you're going to hear some, some examples, okay? 
All right, time is up. Let's see who, who wants to read the conversation that he or she has. Me, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Hello. Hi, how are you today? I'm very well. How about you? I know so I know I know good because I'm feeling a little sick. Oh, it's so bad. I hope you get well soon. Set. Thank you. Okay. Hey. And mm -hmm. I hope you get well soon. Is correct. I I hope you get well soon. Soon. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Thank Excellent. you. Very good. Thank you very much. Now. Someone would like to make a conversation? Me, teacher. Teacher, me? Yes. Okay. Hi. How are you? I'm a bit tired. Why? Because I work very hard. Uh, thank you. How are you? Um, I'm a feeling a little sick. Oh, I'm sorry. See you. Okay. All right. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Now I have uh, Morena Castro, but before there was Eric. Eric, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, my friend. Hi, how do you do? I am a bit tired. Okay, see you tomorrow. Take care. You too. Okay, excellent. Very good. Thank you, Eric. That's great. Okay, now Morena Castro. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hi, it's nice to meet you too. How are you today? I am fine, thanks. Okay, have a nice day. See you later. Bye-bye, see you tomorrow. Okay, excellent, very good. That's fantastic, thanks. Now, Roberto Betancourt. Okay, teacher. Yes, my friend. Hello, Mark. Oh, hi, Jennifer. How are you today? I not so well. What's wrong? I'm a lot tired. Oh, just relax for a while. I am on my way to cinema. Are you free? No, I'm not. I have a lot of work. Okay. Hey, fantastic. That's very good. Very creative, Roberto. That's very nice. Now, Veronica Alfaro de Durán. Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Hey, Gabby. How, how are you today? I'm okay. And you? I'm feeling a little sick. Take care. You too. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. Wonderful. Thank you very much. That's nice. Thank you, Veronica. Now, who else would like to be to show or present his or her dialogue? Araceli, okay, go ahead. Okay, teacher. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. How are you today? I'm very well. It's good to hear, to hear it. Okay, nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. That's nice. Okay, one more, one more volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, I have two volunteers. So, the first and then the second. I'm going to give you two chances. So, I, I see two hands here, only that they don't appear in the same place. Okay, let's see. Okay, begin, please. The first me and then the second me. Um, hi, how are you today? I'm very well, 
And you, how are you? I'm okay. Nice to meet you too. See you later. It's nice to meet you too. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now the other volunteer. Me, teacher. Yeah. Hello, hi, good morning, teacher. It's nice to meet you. How are you today? I fine. Thank you. Okay. Um, only. <laughs> Perfect. That's okay. Very good. It's only a greeting. Thank you. Hey, that's nice. Thanks. <laughs> okay, great. Now let's continue. Let's continue. Now we move to teacher. Yes. How do you how do you answer um que descanses? Oh, okay. How do you say it? Okay. Uh, yes, answer answers of uh say uh, rest well yes rest well and then you you can answer you too thank you or thanks okay you too thanks okay rest rest well mm -hmm. okay thank rest you well. if it's at night and you're going to see the person the next day you can say good night sleep well Good night. Sleep well, okay. Or another expression is more familiar. It's like sleep tight. Sleep tight, okay. And then you may answer you too, thanks, okay. Or even some people say same here, okay? Same here or likewise, okay? I prefer to use likewise, okay? But you too, thanks, it's okay, yeah. Does that answer your question, my friend? Thank you. You're welcome, sure. Teacher. Tell me, please. Uh, it's correct, I, I, I said, I hope you be better. Mm, okay. If the person is sick, get mm -hmm. better. I hope mm -hmm. you get better soon. I get better. Okay. Yeah. I hope you get better soon. Okay. Okay. So let me pull it down a bit because it's mm -hmm. the other place. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Something okay. like this. I hope you get better soon. And the person okay. might say, hey, thanks, thanks so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Excellent. Now, no more questions. No more questions. No. All right. Okay. Very good. Now let's move on. Okay, we have some questions here. Uh, you're going to select yes, I am, or no, I'm not, according to your uh, reality, right? Okay. Uh, Maria Marta, are you married? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. uh, the microphone, you may connect the microphone. You may open the microphone and then answer. Maria Marta Ayala, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know how to open the microphone? Activate the microphone. Activate, do you know how to activate the microphone? No, okay. No hickey, okay. Not teacher, all right, okay. Let's see, now then we change the question to somebody else. Uh, Gloria Elizabeth Castellón, are you married? No. 
Castellanos. Mm -hmm. Oh, Castellanos, sorry. Castellanos. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, I am not. No, you're not, okay. No. No lucky one yet. Um, let's see. We have uh, Rolando Rigoberto. Estoy a punto de quitarte otra vez el celular como ella, y mandarte a acostar. Ya te dije que yo no estoy jugando, estás jugando tú. Así que tú ve cómo haces. No te lo puedo poner. No te lo puedo poner. En Buenos Aires, Roberto. Ya. Sorry. No, teacher. No, I'm not, right? No, I'm not, teacher. No, I'm not. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Stephanie, are you busy right now? No, uh, open the microphone. You closed it. It was open. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, Jennifer, is your sister a secretary too? Oh, she isn't. No, she isn't, right? No, she isn't. Okay. Mayra Guadalupe. Is your mom at home now? Is your mom at home now? Okay. Mayra Guadalupe. Um, um, I don't know. Um, Okay. All right. Now, uh, let's see. Elsa Natalia, is your mom at home now? No, she isn't. She isn't. Okay. Very good. Uh, Cindy, Cindy Rosemary. Is your brother an engineer? Yes, he, he is. An... Yes, he is. Okay, yes, he is. Now, Morena Castro, are you on vacation? Uh, no, I am not. No, you're not. Eric Colach, mm. is your company very old? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Very good. Anna Julissa Aguilera. Uh, do you have a secretary? No, I not. No, you you don't. You don't have a secretary. Okay. Let's see. Who has a secretary? Maybe Telma? Does Telma Guadalupe have a secretary? No, no, I not. No, you you don't have a secretary. Okay. Let's see. Who has a secretary? My sister. Oh, your sister is a secretary. Has See, my sister is secretary. A secretary, no. Has a secretary? Maybe Rolando has a secretary? Or Roberto? Roberto, do you have a secretary? No, teacher, I don't have a secretary. You don't have a secretary. Okay. I was going to ask you, is your secretary foreign? Is your secretary from another country? Okay. Our now let's see, let's move on. So questions like this, we're going to make questions using this information. Okay, number one, who wants to make that question? Tatiana, Tatiana Beatriz Colindres, would you like to do number one? Okay. That's John in the garden. Is John, is John? Uh, is John in the garden? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what do you think could be the answer, an answer? Yes, 
he is. Yes, he is. Okay, excellent. Yes, he is. All right, number two. One volunteer for number two. They are hungry. Are they hungry? Very hungry. Are they hungry? Okay. And what could be the answer? What could yes, be? They, yes are. they are. Yes, they are. Excellent. Yes, no, they are. Now the boy that was speaking, the gentleman that is speaking, number three. Can you please make number three? Are we late? Okay. And what's the answer? Yes, we're late. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, we are. We are. Yes, we are. Uh -huh. Okay. I heard a, a man speaking. I thought it was Eric. No. Was it Eric? Hello, teacher. Can you make number four? Yes. Are you tired? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. Araceli Alarcón. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you make number five? Is he French? Is he French? Okay. Excellent. In Ana Julisa Aguilar, can you make six, please? Is she a teacher? Is she a teacher? Excellent. How about Veronica Alfaro de Duran? Can you do seven? Um, are Harry and Lucy from London? Okay, excellent. Very good. How about number eight? Number eight, Daniel Pañas. Would you like to? <coughs> Am I early? Okay, am I, am I early? Okay, am I early? Now, Cindy Rosemary Carballo, would you like to do number nine, please? Repeat, please, teacher. My inter inter okay, no problem. Question number nine. Can you make number nine? Mm -hmm. Can you make question number nine? Uh, nueve. Mm -hmm. Yes. You no. thirsty? Are you thirsty? Are you thirsty? Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Now, Stephanie Villafuerte, would you please do number 10? She won the bus. Okay. If she, if she, if she was the bus. If she on the bus. Okay. On the bus. Mm -hmm. On the bus. Very good. Number 11. Who wants to do 11? One volunteer. Are we on time? Excellent. Are we on time? 12. Is Pedro, is Pedro from Spain? 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 And multiple answers. Pedro from Spain. <laughs> Knock on wood. Okay. Knock on wood. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Thanks. How about 13? Are they, are they in Tokyo? Okay. Are they at home? Are they at home? Okay. Excellent. How about 15? Is Julie, Is at, Julie home? at home? No. Julie at home. Is Julie at home? Number 15. 15. Are the children at school? Are the children at school? Who are the children at school? Excellent. Very good. 16. Are you in are you doing a coffee? Coffee. coffee. What's a cafe? A in, in a are cafe. you in a cafe? The cafe. A cafe. In a cafe. Are you in a cafe? Mm -hmm. 17. Am I right? Am I right? Mm -hmm. 
are we are we in the right place excellent very good 19 is she german is she german is he a doctor? Is he a doctor? All right. That's it. All right. Do you have any questions about this? We have if John. Okay. Let's see. So if you see John, we use is because it's third person. But if you see they, for example, it's third person, but plural. So you say, are they hungry? Okay, or we, are we late? Okay, excellent. Like you did, you did a good job. Very good. Now let's move on. What's in a name? What makes a name important? What makes a name, um, let's say, necessary for all of us? Okay, let's see. Roberto, why do you think a person needs a name? Oh, yes, the people, all the people need a name because it's uh, their identity. Their identity, mm -hmm. excellent. Yes, that's correct. Okay, now when it comes to names, there are names and there are names, right? There are some names that are beautiful and there are some names that are, let's say not exactly beautiful, okay? Let's see, your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you probably think of your name first. It is an important part of your identity. Right now, the two most popular names for babies are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names unpopular? Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent survey. George, a boy name, we say four names here. George, people consider it average or boring. And for Jacob, the people think that is creative and friendly. Uh, about Michael, they think that is athletic and good looking. For Stanley, they say that is nerdy and serious. Okay, about the girls' names, there were four common names. Betty or Betty is considered old fashioned and average. Emily is considered independent and adventurous. Jane is plain and ordinary. Plain means simple, right? Plain and ordinary. Nicole is beautiful and intelligent. So why do parents give their children unpopular names? The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. What once was considered beautiful or fashionable can become old fashioned and boring. Also, a name that is unpopular now can become popular or trendy in the future. That's good news for all the Georges and Berries out there. Okay, we're going to have, a, this is about questions. Before we, we have people read, say if this is true or false. Is this true or false? Your name is part of your identity. True or false? True. true. It's true. It's true. true. It's Absolutely true. true. Now, people often feel the same way about a particular name. 
true. 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 When the name is ugly, when the name is ugly, they don't really like it. They say, Ooh, that's an ugly name, right? It's an ugly name. Okay, let's see. Boys' names are more popular than girls' names. False. 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 It's supposed to be than, not than. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. The, the Spanish, uh, the Spanish computer changes it. So popular mm -hmm. than girls' names. So we say it's false, right? We all know that there are more, more girls than boys. Mm -hmm. Everywhere, in every country that you check, there are at least 30% more ladies than gentlemen, okay? And that is a fact. Iceland, for example, they say that they have like 70% uh, ladies and only 30% men, okay? So you can go to Iceland, right? So, okay, people are often named after family members. True or false? True. 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 This is true. This is true. Opinion <clears throat> names can change. Is it true or false? True. It's true. 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 Okay. Now, some of the questions. What names are considered beautiful? Here in our country, what names are considered beautiful? Montserrat. Montserrat, okay. Or for what Isabella. name? Isabella. Isabella, okay. And some people like Isabella. Mia. M Mia, Mia. Okay. Maria Fernanda. Maria Fernanda is beautiful, okay. Yeah. Maria Jose. Maria Jose, okay. Yes. And Maria Jose Abrego says, yes, that's true, okay. Yes, okay. What other names are considered beautiful? Amy. Evelyn? Emily. Emily. Emily, yes, Emily. Okay. Is considered beautiful, is popular. Mm -hmm. Here I remember that there are names that are common. Nicole, uh, Gabby, or Gabriela, right? Nicole. Gabriela, Adriana, Wendy, Wendy, uh -huh. Catherine, <laughs> Stephanie, Stephanie, uh -huh. yes, they are very common now. Okay. Now we're not going to check the ugly names, but what names are very popular? We say popular, popular. For boys, Jose, right? Almost everybody's name is Jose. <coughs> Alberto, Alberto, Jose, Roberto. Maria. Okay, for ladies, Maria. Uh -huh. Ana. Ana, Maria, Elizabeth. Rosa. Uh -huh, Rosa in some places is very common too. Okay. And what Pedro. name? Tomasa. Tomasa. <laughs> is it very popular? It's unpopular. I, unpopular, yes. <laughs> Yes, names that are unpopular. Yes. Mm -hmm. What names are not common? Unpopular means not so common. Laila. Popular Thomas. Laila, Thomas, uh -huh. Okay. My son, her na his name is Thomas. <laughs> okay, it's a nice name, Thomas. I like it. Yes. I like it. Thomas. And friends. Yes, I like that. It's very nice. Okay. What names are for boys and for girls? For both. For the two. What names? Jose Maria. Soy. Cruz. Jose Maria. Jose Maria. Maria Jose, right? So. Ariel. Sorry? Ariel. Ariel, yes, it's true. Ariel. Mm -hmm. for Excel. 
For example, Marvin, youth and girl and boys. Exactly, Marvin, Marvin Ariel, uh -huh. Guadalupe, Guadalupe, Carmen, Isabel, Isabel, Santos, Matilde, Jesús, Matilde, Jesús, uh -huh. yes, that's true. Uh -huh. Santos, okay, that's true. Those are names that are for boys. Yeah, that's music. All right, let's continue. So we're going to have two people read, okay? The first person will read this part. Well, I'm going to divide this into two parts so that two people read. Who wants to begin reading? Me, teacher. Okay, please begin reading. I'm going to read this part. Okay, your name is very important. When you think of yourself, you oh, probably you probably think mm -hmm. of your name first. It is an important part of the your identity yeah. right now. The Two most popular names for babies are Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names un unpopular? Okay, thank you very much. Now, somebody else to read the other part. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. <laughs> I heard a boy and a girl. The girl is going to read in the second part. Okay, the boy goes in, the, in this part. Begin, please. Okay, names can become popular because of famous actor, TV or book character or athlete. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Surprisingly, so, so surprisingly, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Here are some common opinions about names from a recent service. Okay, excellent, very good, thank you very much. Now the lady is going to read this part. Okay. Me, teacher. Yeah. Go ahead, please, sure. So, so why do you parents give their children unpopular name. The biggest reason is tradition. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinion can change over time. What once was considered beautiful or fashionable can become old fashioned and boring. Also, a name that is unpopular now can become popular. I don't see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> unpopular or unpopular or trendy in the future. That good new for all the George and and Betty's or out, out there. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. That's very good. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your participation. Thank you for your support. Okay. Uh, we're going to be stopping now. Do you have any questions about the things that we have studied? No, teacher. No All questions. Clear. Oh, clear. No, teacher. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining me tonight. I will be seeing you tomorrow, right? Thank, thank you, teacher. teacher. See you tomorrow. 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 Take care. Good night. Be good. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Good night.
Good night. Take care. Bye. Bye.